Hello, sweet Virgos. Hello. Hello, Virgo. Hello, hello. I'm opening up with you today, Virgo, because we have some fun stuff with the Virgos going on. And my moon is Virgo. My moon is in Virgo. So I just love to open this up, especially since we have a... Um, new moon in Virgo and it's a solar eclipse on the 13th of September so this is your September monthly reading sweet Virgos okay so I'll be excited for that and also everybody understands that I'm a Pisces too so we got a full moon coming up here at the end of this week my friend please get out there and witness a full moon and for my Virgo friends, um, for the birthdays, August 23rd to September 23rd, our mantra is, I analyze, and we are an earth sign, and the symbol is a virgin with a shaft of wheat, usually, and her colors are gray and navy blue, and the ruling planet is Mercury, and um, Virgo rules the intestinal tract and powers of assimilation. And the key words for Virgo are discriminating, critical, methodical, analytical, and service. Okay. And I got this all from my little <laughs> pocket astrologer. <laughs> and just to go on a little bit on the Mercury, um, Mercury rules communication. It's the messenger of the gods. Okay. And Mercury does rule Virgo and Gemini for you Gemini friends out there. Mercury is the messenger in astrology. Um, it's a day-to-day -day expression and communicator. Mercury's action is to take things apart and put them back together again. It is an opportunistic planet, decidedly unemotional and curious. And Mercury not only rules communication, it represents coordination, okay? So your thought process, ideas, and sensory information from both unconscious and unconscious, from both unconscious and conscious sources all need to be coordinated and understood. So Mercury analyzes, sorts, groups, and makes sense of things. How do we handle nervous energy? How do we express and convey our thoughts? How do we approach others and information in order to learn and exchange ideas? Okay, so... Mercury is in La Casa, and, you know, again, I communicate via the YouTube, so we know that my Virgo communicator, Mercury, speaks for us on the YouTube. But I am excited with our Earth sign Virgo today, and that's why I'm starting the month of September with the Virgos because of that new moon on the 13th, okay? Let's make it happen. And new moons are about new beginnings, my friends. Okay. So let's make this happen. Let's see what um, I brought into today, the Wizards Tarot Handbook. Okay. So we're going to do the Wizards. But you know, this is all about clairvoyant alchemy that we're doing right now. So we got to bring the Wizards in. And I'm going to bring in the messages of the fairies for that earth base. And then the Tarot of the Celtic fairies also. Okay, so I got the Fae on the realm here, and I'll be working with these same decks, decks for the uh, next Earth cards, uh, excuse me, Earth cards, but Earth beauties, and that will be for the Taurus and the Capricorns, okay? So let's pick, we're going to pick six cards for these readings, so let me continue now, and I will pick two of each deck, and uh, we'll see what happens with this reading. But I feel good about what's going on here. We've had a lot of energy coming through. And I can already feel that even though we're only August, this September is really going to take us into the year 2016. Okay, whatever starts going on, September, October, November, whatever, we're already in 2016. That's what I feel, okay? So 
for us who watch these kind of videos, we're ahead of the game is what I think is going to be happening. Okay? All right, so enough with the chatter. Remember, I like you all guys to, you know, sit comfortably, you know, whether you're lying down or sitting erect, just make sure your spine is fine, okay? Boy, did you hear that? That that card just popped. Okay, so let's see what other two cards we have. So we're going to do a six-card spread with these monthly readings, and we're in the month of September, so this is... For all of you, Virgos in September, okay? Now remember, you have Mercury as your communicator. So follow its vibes, follow its flows, okay? But uh, most definitely, something is coming. Something is coming. I, you know, I say that a lot, but just be aware, okay? Be aware or beware, but something is coming. Okay, and our six cards are on the table. And let us open up with the Wizard's Tarot first. Three of Wands. Great, great card to open with. So this is like we're watching and waiting, okay? We're watching and waiting. Um, she's by the seashore and she sees this boat. And she's expecting the boat to come, okay? She's watching and waiting for this boat. She's been watching and waiting for this boat. Okay? So, pay attention, my friends. And this is a fire card. Spirit. Okay? So, she knows spirit's in the house. And she's been waiting for the communication. Okay? Let's say it like that. She's been waiting for the communication. and But she sees it's coming. Okay? So, stay firm on the grass. On the land, you see, she's on Earth. For us Virgo Earth people, okay, we got to stay grounded. That's what we're about, really. We stay grounded because we know Mother Earth has something to say. So, just pay attention, okay? Beautiful. She's got her fire staffs there, burning brightly, okay? Light a candle, Virgo, my Virgo friends. Light a candle... If you watch this, when you watch this, and if it's your birthday, then definitely light a candle. But it's coming, okay? And three is about that creativity. And, and, and three is about creativity and also just celebrate yourself, okay? Because something's coming for you, Virgos. Something is coming. Just pay attention, okay? That's what the what why we divinate with the cards or... You know, why we divinate, whether, however we divinate. Oh, my Lord, it be, and look who has arrived. The alchemist himself for our clairvoyant alchemy reading. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. And the alchemist in this deck is the temperance card. Patience. Okay. We all just got to have a little patience. All right. We, let's see. My Virgo friends, look, you're already doing the elixirs. You already know what to do. You know what's coming and you know what to do. Wonderful. So just pay attention. So go within, okay? All right, my Virgos, get outside, get outdoors. We have to be outdoors. We have to be on Earth. Virgos, Taurus, and Capricorns, we have to touch the Earth. Okay? We just got to. So here we are. And that's for everybody. This is for everybody, but innately, if this is your sign, whether it's your sun sign, moon sign, or a, sun, a rising sun, uh, the ascendant sign, just know. Okay? There you go. We got it. And we got a big old crocodile gator up there, too. <laughs> I follow that because I'm from Florida. We have a lot of gators here. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm sorry, I just keep looking at it myself. This is all good. I see the lightning. Now, for my Virgo friends out there, consider when you need to um, gain strength or you need to 
take a incident where you have to look somebody in the eyes, make sure you flash them with lightning, okay? You make sure your eyes flash lightning to those that you want to make send a message home, okay? That's something that I've been taught myself. We flash lightning from our eyes. When we, when we don't have to speak, we just make sure our eyes send a flash of lightning. Okay? Wow. Woohoo! Wonderful. Wonderful. New home. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. Oh, my goodness gracious, people. Okay, for any of you, you know, and that, that doesn't mean a, you have to move, move, but I mean it can be like like doing some new projects in your house. Like I've been going through a lot, but I honestly am now in my new little, uh, this this is a door here. I just have this, this because the sun is so bright, and I don't even want to move the camera right now, but I now can exit from here. So, you know, declutter your home. Get your house in order, okay? New home, moving is a step in the right direction for you. So, and this is the earth realm, and, I, and now I can touch the land because I lived in a condo for 10 years on the fourth floor, and so I, it wasn't easy for me to just step out, and now I do. And I, I'm, and I even have started a little fairy garden out here, which I can't wait to show you all. I can't wait. I just, you know... I'm waiting so I don't have any more people coming here every day, which is after yesterday was it. So I can't wait to introduce my little fairy garden for all of you. But isn't that beautiful? Okay, so I'm going to take this as my Virgo uh, witness, my Virgo moon sign that, yes, my new home is going to be the good. Spring, your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. Beautiful, wonderful, and here, you know, we're going to be going to autumn, but in the southern um, hemisphere, y'all can experience this faster than I can, so this is for everybody, though, okay? Springtime, your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom, and it doesn't matter if you see a butterfly and there's a flower, just know, send a prayer out. When we get outside, nature has so much to reveal and so much to release. You can go on a little walk and, and, and do your prayers. I release this, you know, to the Father God's Son. I release this to, you know, the, the water nymphs. I release, I release this to the Fae. And, and, and you can even write what you want on a note, on paper. And burn it in a, you know, if you're walking alone in a, in a, in a place where you feel that you can just burn that paper and put it in the earth. Speak to them. Okay? Just speak to them. They want us to speak to them. They have been wanting us to speak to them. So watch for the butterflies. And this is one beautiful thing I love is that now I see butterflies all the time now living in this new house. And they just... They nurture my soul, nurture my soul. How beautiful, how beautiful. So again, just to relapse here, three of wands, three of fire. Creativity is here, okay? Celebrate, celebrate your uniqueness. Beautiful. Oh, and the alchemist, major arcana. We're all gonna become our own alchemist, my friends. And enjoy your house, even if you're just painting it. You know, make something new about it. Paint it. Whatever you need to do, people. Just do something. And just know, when you're outdoors, get by the flowers and the little butterflies. How beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, and then we have the Nine of Stones. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. And the Nine of Stones is the Nine of Pentacles. And, and this is a person who's, who's achieved much, but not yet. You know, there's still a little bit more to come, but you've been doing it on your own, okay? 
this is the stump and on this card you see it's a fae and she's sitting on her snail okay so you can tell it's been a slow motion process okay slow motion process but that doesn't mean that you you are not on it okay you are on it and it's coming for you it's just been slow motion baby steps baby steps okay but look at her she's in charge she's got her her big daddy snail that she's on but you know what she's hitting every target see that she's got her slingshot to whatever she's gonna target there but she'll she'll aim and get it because she's already he is with her you know I feel it's a he but whatever whatever uh, gender it is this snail is her and him okay and she's gonna aim and she's gonna take what she wants now because she's she's an expert at it she's a nine you know it's almost complete everything is almost complete okay beautiful and because it's the earth here we are stones pentacles earth round it's coming for you Virgos okay just step by step easy does it okay make your mark you're ready it's it's coming it's all coming for us okay and then we have the knight of cauldrons the knight of cups okay so here we have now for some reason I'm not very from I I like this deck it has a lot of energy for the earth but I'm not sure why the knight of cauldrons is depicted in such a dark manner but you know sometimes our emotions can take us to dark places so but this is a knight so it's young at heart but know that nonetheless whatever ups or downs we have had no matter how hard we try to cheat all of this that just surfaced just know sometimes you know we can have our downsides too our emotions always get in the way don't they pretty much okay but it doesn't mean that we're not going to attain all this so here we have the cups the emotional side okay the water element okay so just keep ticking keep on going okay and if you all are experiencing a little dark night in your life listen it comes and goes it comes and goes okay so just let it go let it go let it go okay because this is not the king of cups or the queen of cups okay and trust that the queen and the king have been through this also that's why they're the queen and king now okay they've been through everything and 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 even if you follow history how many kings and queens of royalty where they have these kings and queens um, have not been through a lot okay so just know that we're attaining that it's not what I say there's never a free ride my friends when you're doing it on your own there's no free rides okay so just bear with it and keep on going okay keep on going because look at this you can do it no doubt about it just get your emotions out of the darkness okay or or out of the or out of if you know be aware or beware okay because sometimes it's not really us that starts it it's people you know whatever people family friends hater neighbors whatever they are they they come but but this is just a moment in time not forever and then we all already know our earth friends Virgos that you can do it on your own no doubt about it you can communicate you know how to do it so just keep doing it okay just keep going on your own and just know that if you see a butterfly there's your sign that your desires will fully manifest okay so you know look up pay attention to your surroundings because there's something coming to bloom for you and it says in spring and then if you're in a new home or or just you know paint your house you're in you know clean it up fancy it up 
not fancy, fancy what I'm saying, but I'm just saying, you know, make it different, okay? I think houses should be redone every five years, you know, whether it's a new pillow or a new bedspread, new sheets, new towels, <laughs> whatever works for you, my friends, because you are the alchemist, and every alchemist knows it takes a lot of patience to make the magic work. A lot of patience. But then you become the alchemist. And to learn this is why I'm on the YouTube, okay? I'm learning every day also. But it did arrive. So just be patient, my friends, because it is going to arrive. You can even see it there. It's about to dock, okay? Your boat is coming in, and you're going to celebrate. And that creative, creativity, that creative venture, it, whether it's in your mind or you're unfolding it right now, is going to make you, it's going to become the alchemist, okay? You will be the alchemist, and that's what we Okay, my dears, and I have Archangel Michael here just to close for, I'm going to do every reading with the Archangel Michael course. Okay, well, I think the message is pretty clear. Get outdoors. Be, you know, us Virgos, we have to be outside. Touch that ground. You know, take care of your house. Take care of you mainly. Take care of you, okay? You are the magician. You are the alchemist. You know, don't be so nitpicky, Virgos, but yet, you know what? Uh, when you create formulas and things like that, you, you just can't just throw it all in there. You, you have to kind of have measurements, and that's what makes us the Virgos. Okay. Okay. So let's see. One last card from Archangel Michael. Make a commitment. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and if this card has not come out more than 30 million times for me, make a commitment. My prayer, Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. Okay? Every experience. You're becoming your alchemist. You're going to refresh your house or go to move to a new home, okay? And it's all get outside. Whatever timing it is for you, just know you want to look out at nature. Make sure those windows are clean, if anything, because you can do it. Nine of Pentacles. And you know I love the number nine, okay? You can multiply nine by any number. Any one or two million five hundred thousand, blah, 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 and you break it down, it comes out to nine. Okay, so you're on your way, Virgo. You just gotta make sure that you don't get caught up in any, you know, emotional stuff from your past because this is youth night. So don't go to the past that puts you in the darkness. Celebrate. Celebrate what you're becoming, okay, because it's coming. It's coming for us all. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. God bless, my friends, and make your commitment, okay? Make your commitment. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Ciao.